whatever. I'll fix it later or just remove it. Alright, <clears throat> so welcome. This is my second part of the tutorial. And I actually am making it this time. So, yeah, we'll, we left it off at Zombie King last time. So, uh, Into the Trenches is right after. And I'll probably end this section at Wasteland Chase. Just as a heads up. Alright, so. Uh, first thing you want to do is jump across these rocks and uh, this secret ship is the only uh, secret ship that's actually kind of in the way uh, you'll, and you, you shouldn't pick it up because then you'll just get this text box and that wastes time. So I, and you want these corn chargers so I just curve around it and grab them. Okay, my controller is actually hacking up a little bit. Hang on. Alright, hopefully that's better. Alright, so... A uh, few little things about this level, at, at least the start of this level. Um, there is a way to skip this entire first section, uh, but I don't do it. Especially on PS2, it's very very hard on the PS2 version. Um, on GameCube and Xbox it's a little easier, but I don't think anyone really goes for it, so... We're going to assume that this tutorial is up to date with our standards right now. So, um, yeah, we just jump down here. You, you can you can kind of speed slide your way into this shaft. Sometimes you end up back here. Oh, that's not too big of a deal, really. You can jump over the wall and land on the zip line, but that's pretty risky as well. So yeah, once you come over here, you just want to get on the zip line, and what you want to do here, pretty much, is kind of well. Okay, so here's what I do, or here's how I think about it. The uh, angle you're at, right as you jump on the zip line, is the angle I stay at. Like I don't change my angle at all. So you kind of just like go to the left a little bit, jump on the zip line, and I don't change my angle right there. I keep it like that. And the goal here is to not go into the trenches. You want to actually go to the right uh, and skip across it. So to do that, what I do is I hold right as I'm going down. I hold right on the left thumbstick. And I jump when I'm pretty close to the bottom, not exactly at the bottom, but pretty close. Like I jump right about here. Oh, okay. Thought I fell in for a second. It's actually... It's pretty easy to fall in, so... But I've found that doing that uh, has uh, prevents that more often. Yeah, see that went in. So I think I think that happens if you jump too early. Ah, dang it! Yeah, you don't want to be too far to the left when you jump off either with your camera. And you can get a pretty good speed slide down into uh, this corridor here. So let me just do it one more time. I'm probably spending too much time on this. 
The last video I think was like an hour 20 minutes and that's just up to Zombie Bot King. So I don't know, maybe I do too much too much explaining or something. So yeah, I just speed slide and jump your way down into here. Uh we used to pick up the level two cannon. Or what do they call it? The Berg Cannon, which is the second upgrade for the rocket launcher, but uh, it costs too much time to get and it's not really necessary anyways. And we can manage with this one. Okay, so just go through this door and you're going to be using the Scatter Blaster throughout most of this level. Uh, so th there's these turrets up here and you do need to kill them to uh, uh, advance through the door. And they only take two shots. They should only take two shots. Sometimes you miss and you have to take a third one and that's fine. So yeah. Uh, so for this elevator, you want to trigger it. And right as it, as early as you can, you want to jump out of it. And just fall down. And that skips the entire elevator ride. And if you want to save a few seconds, you can jump into this cutscene, so you start a little further. Alright, so yeah, these are the sentry, what are they called? The sentry bots? I forget the name of them. But yeah, you can just ignore them, they don't really cause too much trouble. Uh, there's another turret here. Uh, here I like to hang off to the left, just so uh, this droid or this mill doesn't really hit me too well, because your your health is pretty tight for this level. You need to conserve it pretty well. And once I get to the edge of uh, this bunker, I jump off to the right here, up onto this rock. So yeah, I got hit a few times, but that's fine. Alright, so normally you would have to get a dead pack from up here to blow up this wall. But you can use this rock right here to just completely skip that. And there is a very easy way to do this that you should be able to get every time. It's not very hard. It used to be very hard before we figured this out. Um, I'm actually going to restart just so I have a good amount of health. Actually, this might not be any better. Yeah, and you want to try not to let that Titan see you in case you do happen to, to mess it up, but it doesn't matter too much. So what I do is I hang off to like the very front of this rock while going forward. And then I do a ramp jump and Right when I finish my double jump, I hold up right. Oh fuck, <laughs> messed it up. It's kind of, I, I never really do it when I'm pausing like that, so. It, it, it's just a really uh, timing thing you get down. There's not too much explaining I can do. Like you can't think too much on it. You just kind of have to do it. But yeah, just kind of like that. Uh, you want to try and ignore this titan. If you get that skip first try, he'll always shoot at you, so there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so yeah, you just want to come over to this bunker now. If you're for some reason low on health, you can uh, go up to that tower, and there's a uh, mega health up there. Or mega energy. But, I, yeah, you really shouldn't have to if you get the skip fine. Okay, so there's, there's two mills down here. They'll usually always throw a corn charge. Um, sometimes they don't. Oh, a sec, I got a text. Uh, I'll answer that later. Um, okay. So yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll usually throw a corn charge. If, like my health is probably fine to run into them because uh, a quick way to do this is to throw a corn charge back at them. And then that will also do some damage to the sentry, so you only have to shoot it once. 
which means you don't really have to stop for it. Um, okay, so here's a good example of, of using checkpoints to gain health. So say I took a lot of damage for some reason, and I'm like, oh crap, I'm not going to live throughout the rest of the level. Uh, you can just back save, and it'll automatically be at two bar bars of health. So that's a really good thing to keep in mind. And if you think you can make it, but you don't want to back save, there's health over here to the right. I don't really grab that. If I'm too low on health, I back save because it's still pretty really possible to die there. So throw a corner charge at this guy, blow him up. And here's where we do the last skip for this level. Uh, and you do want to blow this guy up because he does draw some health if you are low on it still. And scatter the blaster ammo. So what I do for this skip is I jump up here. And I kind of angle myself. I mean, again, it's just a thing I do so often that I just don't really need a setup for it. And it, you don't really, it's not really precise or anything. But I guess you could just uh, aim your cursor for a little bit to the right of where this kind of corner here is. Like just right where I'm standing. You can kind of aim your cursor a little to the right of that. It's really not too bad of a skip. I think this is, this is actually one of the first ones I found to be honest. Now, now that I remember. Um, so yeah, you just jump up there. And you can kind of cut across early right here a little bit and turn to the right. And for some reason you uh, go faster when you're turned to the right there. And then just finish the level. So yeah, you don't have to do any of that last section when you do that skip. Alright, um, so yeah, the, the, the next few levels, there's quite a few skips. Uh, this is where we start seeing a lot of them. More than we have in the beginning of the game. So a, a quick little th tech thing you can do here. Uh, if you hold the control stick in the correct spot, like somewhere to the left, right as you go down the slope. It's actually kind of hard to do. Uh, it's, not, it's not very important, but I want to try to get it. Well, you can you can kind of just slide down like that, and it saves a little, it saves a few frames than just climbing your way over it. And something that's weird about this level is if you back save at all, this tank will roll down the hill for some reason. I don't really know why. Now that that happens on all versions. All right, so yeah, you just want to get in the tank. Uh, you don't have to blow these guys up, but I'm just used to doing it. So uh, you can, there's a specific path you can take that's pretty quick here, and you definitely want to get rid of this guy, or else he'll be shooting at you this entire time you're doing the trick. Oh, you know what? Oh, dang it! Uh, I might need to plug in the GameCube version because this trick's actually different on PS2. Um, yeah, I'll plug in the GameCube version right ab after this, so if you're on PS2, uh, this trick's actually a little bit harder, but what I pretty much do is I have the tank ram against this wall here at an angle, and then I slowly turn my camera to the left, and then eventually the tank should do this. And it's in a pretty good spot at that point. The way you do it on GameCube is the complete opposite direction, but for some reason that doesn't work on this one. So you have to do it this way. And yeah, the ramp jump's actually pretty difficult on PS2 as well. You need to get it right off this little thing. And it's, <laughs> it's very easy to fall off too. Alright, there we go.
it's way the ramp jump is also way easier on GameCube and Xbox. So this level is pretty free on those two versions. Um yeah, let me plug in the GameCube version real quick. I probably should have done that beforehand, but oh well. Sorry about that, I completely forgot about this trick being different on GameCube and Xbox. I was going over at work today on like, alright, here's what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to explain. And I completely forgot about this. Alright, so let me just go to that level. And this is the same for both GameCube and Xbox, by the way. There's really no huge differences compared to GameCube and Xbox. In fact, there's really none other than lag differences. PS2 has quite a few differences. Yeah, I wish I could get over to uh, the cliff over here. <clears throat> yeah, another thing you need to uh, try not to do is have that Titan uh, see you, because he'll come over here and you don't want that to happen. Alright, so on GameCube and Xbox, you can actually just Press the tank right straight into it, and then slowly rotate your camera to the right. I don't know, wait, how do you do this again? It's been a while. Hang on. No, how do you do this again? <laughs> Maybe you put it here first? Uh, <laughs> give me a sec to figure this out, I don't quite remember. But it was easier to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what you do. What was I doing wrong then? Jab it in here. Oh, you know what? I think. Okay, never mind. I remember now. Uh. That's so weird. I feel like it's more consistent on PS2. But it's a lot harder to do. Like, you can do it the same way on GameCube, I guess. Except it's still kind of weird. But yeah, I definitely do it this way on GameCube because you get a lot, you get a way better jump. And then you get a lot more room to do the jump, too. Kind of finicky to get up on this tank sometimes, but yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty. The jump is pretty free. So yeah, pretty, what I do is I just jab it in here. Uh, I I think I slowly turn it to the right while while still holding up. By the way, you have to be holding up for this. So we'll stick it in there, hold up still, and slowly turn to the right. And you can kind of nudge it to the right a little bit if you want a little more height, but it should be fine either way. And then just jump up. Alright, um, I'm probably going to finish this level up on GameCube, just because there's a few things I want to do on GameCube compared to PS2. Um, 
Actually, no, I should I should just do it on PS2, cause my weapons are equipped to, in a certain way. So uh, I'll keep the GameCube on in case I need it again. All right, so <clears throat> once you're up here, you're gonna want to switch back to the rivet gun and. Uh, select the scope and then equip that back to right. So now every time you pull out the rivet gun, you'll pull out the scope with it. Um, all right, you can either just walk across here and go on it, go on this uh, wall normally, or you can jump from right here to save a few seconds. All right, now on the PS2 version you really want to keep your scope out here. Uh, the thing about, about the scope is we never use it to like get a better view of anything. Uh, the scope for whatever reason prevents the game from taking you back if you're out of bounds in a certain in a certain way. I'm not we're not really too sure why the game takes you back exactly but it most likely has to do with loading too many things or being being somewhere, maybe they have certain triggers somewhere, so they know you're out of bounds. I, I have no way. It's pretty weird, but the game can take you back if you're not in the correct spot. So, yeah, and the, and the scope completely, it, it, it just doesn't allow that to happen. So, you don't have to worry about anything while the scope is out. In fact, let me actually... Actually, no, I can do that right over here. This is where it will like, always take you back on PS2. So you have the scope out, right? Nothing's really happening. As soon as you take it out, you're going back. And it does take a few seconds for it to, I guess, figure out you're out of bounds. Oh dang, now I have to go all the way back. Uh, let me actually switch over to GameCube. Oh, this level is a mess. Just because I'm up here already. Oh, crap. No, don't fall. <laughs> well, now I have to go back. But on GameCube and Xbox, you don't really need the scope. It's very rare for the game to take you back up there. But if you want to be extra safe, then yeah, you can still use it. Uh, why am I going back here? This is this was an older route, uh, but you can actually save a few seconds by going to the left of that. All right, so let me just recap on how you do this on GameCube and Xbox. So stick it in here, hold up. Slowly turn to the right, and there you go. Then just jump up, hopefully correctly. There's like a weird little panel here that kind of messes me up sometimes, so it's kind of annoying. You can you can't really do it off of the uh, the belt here for some reason, so you kind of have to like either. Do it off the right or on this black thing, I think. Holy moly, let me up. No, you cannot come up. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, maybe it's not as free on GameCube as I thought it was. It's been a while. I cannot get up. I don't know what to do, I keep sliding down. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I can't get up there, huh? Interesting. Okay, let's try to readjust it then. That is so weird. Do I have to angle it more this way? This is a tutorial, but I feel like I'm learning it right now. 
All right, whatever. Confirmed easier on PS2, I guess. So yeah, you don't really need the scope out on GameCube and Xbox. I'd assume it's even more free on Xbox since it lags less. So yeah, you can turn here. And so what we're going to do now is clip through a wall, which, yeah, this is the first clip we do. Well, first one of these kinds of clips. There was one back in cleanup, but it's different. Uh, so there are certain walls in this game where you can actually kind of nudge your way into. And this is one of them. Uh, most of the time it will try to push you back out, but if you do it correctly, you can go right through it. Fortunately, these are pretty inconsistent, so it can be a little hard sometimes. Okay. Come on. Yeah, it's being, it's being pretty stubborn right now. Does this even work on GameCube? I feel like it's not this bad. No, I have to give it, get it at least once. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that's way easier on PS2 though. But yeah, you just have to mess around with it. Uh, I'd like to find better setups for that one day. Or just better, more consistent methods of doing it. But... So far, I can't really find too much. Um, yeah, so let me... Hang on a sec. Let me continue this on PS2, because that's what I was doing. Yeah, sorry about this. I'll, I'll finish it up a lot quickly. Won't stop to do anything. Probably going to be a pretty long video because of this level. Actually, the, the next level is actually another difference on GameCube and Xbox, which, uh, forget everything. Oh wait, I'm doing the PS2 version, that's right. I'm just way more used to doing that because I only run on this one right now. Alright, so yeah, PS2, keep your scope out. Also, st try to stay a little close to the right side, because sometimes the mills will shoot at you if you're too f far to the left. I don't really know if it saves time to jump over these little bumps. But I do it anyways. Cause going going up a slope obviously seems like you're going slower. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess I mean if some if it's not working, the best you can really do is try to change your position or angle. There's multiple angles and positions that work, from what I can tell. You just have to keep going at it until you get it really. Dang, it is being stubborn. What? Wow. Holy crap, this thing is stubborn. Well, so far I haven't uh, made a good example out of that clip. If you don't want to do that clip, uh, you can just finish the level normally by taking control over the green mill and all that. I'm not really gonna show it, just because I've spent enough time on that level already. Alright, so for this level, you can immediately skip the first cutscene by pressing start. 
Uh, the second one, for some reason, you can't skip. Oh, but the third one you can't skip. Kind of weird, but you know. All right, so come out this door, grab the CMP, and this is the first EMP you get. And we're gonna be picking up. Well, you can, you can only hold three at a time, and we're gonna be picking up three eventually. So what I do is I immediately equip this to my slingshot. And then immediately go back to the river gun. And then... Yeah, you, you want to do that pretty quickly if you don't want to lose time. Because you definitely want to get rid of this green mill up on this tower for uh, the next skip. So just shoot him. If you don't kill him, that's fine as long as you kind of push him off or whatever. So yeah, you got a lot of people firing at you right now, so you want to get this skip decently quickly. And um, getting you and Xbox have this trick a little bit harder. Uh, I'm not again. I'm not too sure why. I think your your the way you jump on PS2 is is a little different compared to the other versions. So it's a lot easier to uh, jump up onto this ledge on PS2. But, um, yeah, so first you want to be able to get up onto this thing. And how you do that is you can actually jump onto the corner of this thing right here. And then you have to do a pretty uh, technical jump here. You have to jump. Well, actually, let me see. What... Yeah, you jump while holding back. Well, you jump and then hold back and then jump again while holding forward. Uh, I don't really have an input, I don't have a way to show inputs on console, so I can't really show you my inputs. But yeah, you hold back, hold up, and that's how you get up there, and I'm very low on health. Alright, so yeah, grab the MP. It's already equipped on slingshot, okay. Uh, Titan, please. And the only reason I come over to this corner is because you get shot at the least. Actually, to be honest, you probably would get shot at the least like here, but eh, it saves, it loses like a second, and it's really not too big of a deal. You're getting shot at a lot, no matter what. If you try to do it over on this side. Uh, you're probably going to get destroyed if you don't get it first try. So that's why I do it here. And it's a little weird to get up on this thing. You need to do a uh, single jump and then a double jump. So yeah, jump up onto the corner. And do that weird jump. And here's the part that's different on GameCube and Xbox. Um... On PS2, you can just simply jump up to here with a quick double jump. GameCube and Xbox have a way more difficult time doing that. So, if you're not up to doing that on GameCube and Xbox, uh, you can also... Oh, I'll leave you out of the way. It's a, it's a little slower, but... You can get up onto here. Nah. I don't know, maybe it was the other side. I never do this method anymore. Let me see which side it was on. No, it has to have been the other side. But yeah, you, it's, it's still a little risky. Dude, they're kind of getting shot at. Uh, if you need to take out a few enemies, which I believe is what I did when I did this way. So I took out the Titan and everything, just so they wouldn't bug me. Where is my tank going? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's two Titans are coming out. Uh, just do the other, just 
Do the other way, dude. I can't do this. Play on the PSU version. <laughs> Simple. Alright, let me just get rid of these guys. This Titan, for some reason, has a lot of health, so it does take a while to kill him. I swear there was another place he could, uh... Let me check something. I swear you could do it right here. If I can even get up there. Nah, there's really no way to get up there from here. Alright. Yeah, if you want to be safe, you're just going to have to kill everything, I guess. And then do it. Oh yeah, you jump up onto this thing, and then jump up onto this part. While PS2 can just jump up right from that thing. I mean, you can still do it on GameCube and Xbox, it's just a little harder. So yeah, uh, let me do that. Oh, I, I'm not going to restart the level. So jump up here, jump back forward, and you get the time. You can get the timing down pretty easily for that too. Oh, uh, you want to stick to the left here so you're not getting shot at by the things on the right. And it's really important right here when you jump up to this part to not go too far into the right because you'll clip back in balance. Which I don't know when you'll clip back in balance. Hmm. Well, there's, there's a weird invisible wall. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. Then you, if you go too far that way, you'll get stuck and can't go back out. So yeah, just stay to the left as best you can here. And then for this part, you just want to head to the right of this tunnel and drop down and you'll immediately hit the loading zone to end the level. So it, it's a pretty short level if you get the trick quickly. Dang, I spent four, about 40 minutes on three levels. Alright, so, everyone's favorite level, right? Yeah, I was planning to do some runs after uh, this tutorial, but I don't think I'll have time. Um, okay, so... First things first, uh, a good trick for this level that you should always do um, is if you can notice how I'm shooting, if I hold down the right trigger, uh, my shots eventually become very inaccurate. Like you can see the bullets just kind of scatter everywhere. However, um, oh, you go away. I'm trying to explain this while I'm not letting anything in. But if you continuously tap the trigger button, you see how much more accurate the shots are. And that helps a lot for this level. In fact, you might be able to just uh, hold it down for a short period of time and then release it every now and then. But I'm pretty used to just tapping it, so that's what I do. Because for some reason that helps me aim better. I don't know why, <laughs> it just does. And you also, I also tap the left button too, just so I can fire the grenades as often as I can. 
You don't really have to, but I'm used to doing that. You can just hold that one. So yeah, you can actually, uh, when you're just waiting around for something to spawn, you can actually have all three holes on the, on the screen at once, so you can keep an eye on them pretty well. You just have to aim your cursor a little to the right of the middle tunnel if you want to see all of them. Uh, you can I, you can kind of use audio cues to know exactly where they're coming out of, but it's a little hard to tell. So yeah, the first two waves are pretty easy. Shouldn't have any trouble with that. The second wave is for whatever reason three minutes long, while wave one and three are one minute long each. Uh, and wave three is definitely the only one you really need to worry about. And yeah, this predatory here always triggers the alarm, so you don't really need to worry about that. You'll you'll see him. Like casually, this level was probably people's least favorite, and it probably would have been pretty bad in. in even this difficulty, if you couldn't do the uh, tapping trick for the trigger button. And I remember when I was uh, planning the route this game, I'm just like, oh, this level is going to suck. But it's really not too bad. I failed it maybe four times, three or four times ever throughout the entire time I've been running this game. And I've done, what does my count say, 271 resets on the PS2 version. This, I don't know how many I've done on the GameCube version when I ran on that. But I've been running the PS2 version longer, I think. Yeah, and, and don't shoot when there's nothing going on so you can actually, like, hear things, obviously. Alright, it should begin to wave 3 pretty soon. Uh, wave 3 is actually pretty, a little intimidating, intimidating on the PS2 version because it does start lagging. Which can make it a little difficult to, uh, play well on. And the, the, again, the spawns are random for this, so it's not like you can like prepare beforehand. You, you don't know exactly what's going to happen each time. And I think I'm getting pretty bad luck right now. Oh crap. Alright, where's that predator? Where is he? Okay. Alright. Wow, they are charging out. You can imagine this on NOS difficulty. I don't re I don't really run the not the steel category myself right now, but speedrun wise it's the worst level. Oh come on. No, come back. Holy crap, they do not stop coming. They're still coming, dude. Oh my goodness. I I think I failed. I failed. I failed. Wow. Oh my goodness. I've never seen them come out that often before. That was ridiculous. I hope I never see that in a run again. Like, usually they stop a little bit after a while, but they kept coming, man. They, they wanted me dead. Alright, hopefully we get better spawns this time. If you do fail it like I just did, um, you'll just start back at wave 3. So you lose a minute each time, about a minute each time you fail wave 3. Good lord, that was absurd.
Maybe it's because I was talking too much. I lose focus when I'm talking. So if, if you see like a predator that's pretty far away, you can kind of try to hold off on him because the rats will get to the get to the gates way quicker than them. There, that was way better. And it is a little random what the when the game will actually end because the game doesn't end when the timer ends. It ends whenever you kill the last enemy. Wow, no speed chip. Rip. Rip Hondo. So yeah, that level control you sometimes. Alright, so right off the bat for this level, you want to grab the shield, run past this titan. And you just want to single jump up, up onto this rat, onto this, uh, onto this ramp. Grab the dead pack, turn around, and head back towards the locked door. If the titan's in a, in a good spot, you can sometimes get a boost off of his jump. But you really shouldn't rely on it. So place the dead pack in, and you can actually hide right behind this little corner here and not take damage while that explodes. So yeah, then run in. So for this part, you can actually go fast enough before the door flax or, or what's the name? Vlax. You can actually enter the door uh, before he closes it if you're quick enough. So you just want to cut these corners pretty tightly here. And that skips having to get a uh, ship from a scientist. If you do miss it, then you'll just have to get the ship from him. And it wastes maybe 15 seconds. Uh, if you're low on health, you really, you really don't need any more than two bars of health. So if you're low on health, then you can just back save right here. And I think it's a little quicker than grabbing the health if I timed it correctly. So yeah, come over to this room, and you want to pull out the rocket launcher. And shoot the dude in the rat twice. Get in it, and it's kind of random where these guys are. So you just have to kill them quickly. Hopefully they're in good spots. Oh, there's a dude hiding. Oh, where is he? Hello? Hi there. Yeah, sometimes if he's hiding behind there, you really you just kinda have to go get him. You can't you can't shoot him from there. So yeah, for this Titan that pops up. Also, also, I forgot to mention, uh you do want to grab the EMP. Wait, why do I have one? Did I not grab it? Good thing I noticed. Uh, the scientist in this room drops an EMP and you do want to pick that up. So yeah, right here, you, you need that. So okay, so for this titan I usually shoot him once or twice to make him back up a little bit. Or hopefully he backs up. Uh, he doesn't seem to be doing that, and I might die. <laughs> Dang it. Well, this is going well. Oh my god, why am I taking so much damage? I don't understand. Just tearing me to pieces, man. Did I pick it up? Oh, a circle is like crazy. Where is it? Uh, 
wasn't. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Didn't I pick it up? Wait, why don't I have an EMP? Oh, did I forget it? Um. Oh, I must have forgot it in the tutorial level. That's why. I, th I thought I wasn't picking it up. Uh, let me see if I can just buy one here real quick. <laughs> you shouldn't ever have to do this. Oh my god, you can't buy one. Um. Okay. I'll figure something out. I'm sure we'll find one along the way. So you're supposed to have two when you pick up the one from the scientist. Just so we're all, all we're all just so we're all on the same page. Oh my god, I'm being teared up. I am being teared up, man. You can actually uh, do the same thing with Vlax here, where you can beat him to the door and skip this entire fight. But it's really hard to do, and you need uh, a really good speed slide from the previous room to be able to beat him. So it's really not worth going for. Dude, why are you not backing up? Hello. He usually backs up. I'm not sure why he wasn't. Um, I guess the other thing you can do is just let him come out. That's kind of the safer way to do it. Alright, oh, this level's gonna go well. I'm sure nothing will go wrong explaining this one. There's, a, there's quite a few things in this level compared to others. There's constantly some tech or some trick you're doing. Alright, so... Yeah, we're not gonna take out the replicators. Sorry, Colonel. But, yeah, we're gonna take out this turret instead. Um, on the PS2 version, you only need to... On the PS2 version, you need to actually fire three missiles at this turret. On GameCube and Xbox, you only, only need to fire two. So yeah, once you kill it, it's just way easier to deal with everything when that turret's gone, so that's why I get, I get rid of it. Um, so yeah, once you kill that turret, you can do a, ra a really precise ramp jump up this, and jump up to this ledge right here. Uh, the timing's pretty specific, so you probably want to practice it. But you pretty much want to delay your second jump as long as possible. And then, I usually equip my cleaner when I get up there. The one cleaner I should have. Come down here, pull the switch, and you can kind of jump into this cutscene to go a little further towards the door. Alright, so we're gonna do something called cleaner glitch. And, okay, so let me just do it. So you're gonna throw your cleaner at this guy, and right before it explodes, Right before it hits him and explodes, you're gonna want to back save. And then that actually, the cleaner actually continues into the next reload you do. And it can potentially kill him actually. Uh, it didn't that time, so let me try to get that to happen. Okay, he's not behaving. Alright, this should work. Yeah, there we go. And that basically saves you, that basically lets you use the cleaner again, because you back saved. So now you want to use it on this guy. Uh, open the door. So if you're too low on health, uh, I'm actually, well, I, I mean, I would keep going, but if you don't like this health, then you can head over to the left here and grab this health. Otherwise you can just kinda skip across right here. And I would jump over that window so you don't get blasted by the turret. Alright so uh, normally you would have to go into this vent 
as this dark mill and go around and unlock the other side of the door. But you can actually just jump and press Y and open the door because yes. And while you're doing that you can hold square just so you not do that. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. But yeah just to speed up being able to get out of him quickly. Alright, so now you want to jump up onto this thing. You can go around the regular way if you want to, but just save a few seconds. Uh, you want to jump up onto the seam right here. And I wouldn't jump on this part because you can kind of get boosted off for some reason. I actually need a little more health from that. I'm so bad at this. Okay, get up there. Alright, fine, we'll go the regular way. Yeah, you kinda need a ramp jump if you wanna get up there quickly too. So I'll walk across this part, and for some reason you kinda get stuck on this part, so you can kinda jump across a little bit. So now we're going to do a window jump, and the best you can really do is just mash the jump button. There's really no consistent way to do this. Sometimes you just fail it for no reason. But you want to be holding up and just mash X at the very edge of this uh, scene. Alright. And if you're lucky enough, like what just happened to me, you land back on the seam if you missed it. Uh, most of the time you'll fall right off and you 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 and since like the guard is down there and everything you kind of have to back save if your health is too low so yeah now you want to come over here my health is really low um yeah if your health is too low you might want to back save just in case you're not really gonna take too much damage here at least the plan is to not take too much damage um so yeah so there's this uh, guard here and if you just run past him like this, well, most of the time he'll chase you. <laughs> he was being kind of dumb. I think he gets distracted by the dark mill sometimes. But yeah, if you want to be really safe, you just have to kind of jump over that thing. Just jump to the right, like double jump to the right of it. Just so you can be as far away from him as possible. So, in this room, this is the only place. Okay, um. Uh, the last tutorial I forgot to mention. You need to pick up the Ripper in cleanup, right at the beginning of cleanup. I forgot to mention that for some reason. But. I mean, the Ripper is useless, so of course I'd forget. Uh, but this is the only time we'll be using the Ripper. So. Yeah, you want to pick up this shield, and uh, you have a really specific way of doing this depending on what happens. So sometimes this generator right here, there's three generators in the room. You need to destroy all of them to prevent the guards from spawning. Um, sometimes this one right here is blown up. I'm not too sure why, but it just is sometimes. So. If it's uh, if it's not blown up, you just want to shoot these missiles here. Shoot it again. Usually that shot. I think I could have sworn that blows up with just one shot from the missiles. Oh, this guy's following me. That's fine. As long as I get the shield, and as long as he let me out. All right. Yeah, that blew it up that time. I don't know why it didn't. I don't even like that. That spawner is so weird. But yeah, you do need you do need to destroy them one way or another. Um. So I would recommend uh, leaving these missiles right here. 
in tech. Like, I wouldn't blow them up unless you have, like, a bunch of them following you for, at this point. Like, this guy's kind of right here, so I might just blow it up. Uh, then I come up here and pull out the Ripper. And if you can see up here, there's, uh, these nukes. And you can cut them down. And basically, uh... <laughs> If you if you if you're quick enough to not have the shield drop, it's kind of weird doing this level while I'm trying to explain it slowly. That's kind of why I'm doing these like pauses so I don't waste any time. So yeah, pick up the shield, come over here. The spawner's there. Probably gonna shoot it twice to be honest. No one's really following me, so I'm gonna come up here, take out my ripper, cut this down. Most of these guys should blow up. Uh, you'd be pretty lucky if they all blow up from just that one nuke. Um, uh, so GameCube and Xbox actually, you may not want to do this on GameCube and Xbox. Because the explosion, like, like I said before, explosions are a lot smaller on GameCube and Xbox. So, I, they just cover a, a smaller radius or something I don't really know exactly but yeah on PS2 if you have some still left and if you're lucky enough to find where the cleaners drop because one of the one of the guards drops the cleaner I don't remember which one but one of them does um so yeah if you're able to pick up the cleaners use them on the rest of them Uh, you're not going to need them anymore, really. I mean, if you want to save one for Morbot City, I guess you could. But you don't really have to, because there's cleaners there anyways. And even then, I don't really use the cleaners there anymore, unless it's a back unless I need to use them for backup. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to do it that way, you can do it the old way and take control of the guard. Uh, hopefully I remember how to do this. It's been a while. Uh, left. That's right. Oh yeah, you want to come over here. No, oh, that's not my gun. Oh my god, dude, come on. You just kind of want to blow that up. And you can't get too close to them or else you lose signal. Alright, got that one. And now what I try to do is uh, round up as many of them as I can. There you come over here. And then I blow up the missiles. And on PS2 I think you can survive explosions way easier than in the GameCube version. Let me try to blow these up. And I think there was only one left or so. But that is a little slower than uh, doing it the other way. Because you have to come back here as a glitch, unless you're really, really lucky. Wow. Okay. So yeah, you do have to kill them all to end the level. And the the uh, dart mill in that room does count. You you do need to kill them too. Yeah, that, that level is a pretty tricky level, but it's actually one of my favorites just, just because of how many things are in it. But otherwise, it's just awful to try and get a good time in. Hopefully, that makes sense. It's, some of these levels are pretty hard to explain. But I'm doing my best. Alright, you can skip that first cutscene, you can't skip the second one. And you can skip the third one. Just like Destroy Kamaris. So now we're playing as everyone's favorite character in the game. Uh, and this is actually the shortest level in the game because of a clip. But yeah, you just want to come back to the left here. Jump over here. And hopefully no... Droids really see you. 
but you just want to try and clip onto this corner. It's a little easier than the previous one in Infiltrate the Compound. So it shouldn't shouldn't take you too long to get. Sometimes it control like every single clip in this game. And since so you don't really have a cursor, it's a little harder. Or you you, don't, you have a different cursor, so can't really line that up with anything too much. All right. So once you clip, you just want to walk around here. And when you get over here, uh, you might want to be a little bit careful because this little piece right here can kind of push you. So you can kind of just tap the control stick if you want to be safe. And then you just jump into here and finish the level. He says that like he's used it. Yeah, so, sometimes you don't even, sometimes you like don't even jump into the room, like you just fall into the void while a cutscene plays. And that doesn't do anything, you still finish the level, it's just kind of silly. But yeah, that level, there's, a, there's a, another place you can clip that's a lot quicker, but it's way, way riskier. You have to pretty much get the clip first or second try, if you don't want to get screwed over by the cards so okay so now we have our fourth battery pack just automatically and we also get the control tether uh, I just switch back to my rocket launcher you don't need to equip it or anything to a hotkey uh, you can avoid that turret Uh, you want to get into this loader, just because it's quicker to get around the place with. Uh, just drop it off here while you go into this room. And kill this guy. And the chip likes to fly off sometimes. So hop back into your loader. And if, you, if you're getting shot at a lot, it kind of sucks because the loader actually slows down a lot if you're getting shot at. Oh, hello. I don't know how I died, but I did. Yeah, that, that titan in that room can kind of troll you. Sometimes he barges right out, and you can't even expect it. Yeah, you just kind of have to get past him. Okay, I open the door with the chip you just got. And you can, there's actually two health. Two uh, energies in this crate, so it's pretty nice if you, for some reason, are low on health. So you can you can uh, speed up this room by jumping up onto this. What is this thing? It's like a big screw or something. But you want to like head down the ra the ramp here and jump onto this thing, then onto this thing, and then onto this thing. <laughs> Basically, you jump onto a lot of things. Um, but yeah, if, if during the process, if you ever fail this, if you like fall or something, like say I, oops, I miss. <laughs> that was kind of pathetic, actually. But if you the backup, uh, the backup for this is to jump up onto this screw. And there's an invisible wall right here, and you can kind of use that while you're jumping off here. So, yeah. Uh, you don't need to shoot these guys, you can just run past them. Alright, so, last skip of this level. You can actually get a little ramp jump off of this corner here on the box. Doesn't matter if the uh, box is blown up, it will still have the same hitbox and everything. So,. Let me actually get rid of these guys and have some help while I'm at it. Oh, 
All right. So a uh, consistent way to do this is to uh, kind of you can be facing directly towards the wall or maybe a little bit to the right. Either way, you want to pretty much jump. You want your you want your second jump to be as late as possible. Well, not as late as possible. Just pretty much at the peak of your first jump. Uh, again, you'll just get used to the timing eventually. And you kind of want to, when you're jumping, you want to go a little to the right. Because, you know, the slope is obviously lower there. And originally, we, we would do it like this, where we're just like, oh, this ledge right here is the lowest point, so we want to aim for there. Turns out it's actually a lot harder to jump up there than it is to jump up to like this part right here. So yeah, that's my recommendation. And then you just go finish the level. Also another thing, when you're going up these elevators, uh, don't jump on them. Okay, it didn't happen, but sometimes you clip right through it, and you'll have to wait for it to come back down again. It's not worth the, the few frames you get by jumping up early. Alright, uh, do I even need to do this level? <laughs> it's it's, an auto, it's like an auto-scroller, what, what do I need to explain? Alright, I suppose I'll just do it. So when you're shooting this guy right here, it doesn't really do anything. A lot of people tell me that because I shoot him, but I'm just like, eh, I like to shoot him. Like, why not? But yeah, it doesn't really do anything at this point. You don't need to kill any of the enemies, um, except for the ones that can bump you, like this guy. There's also a guy right here. And a guy right up, up front here. And then one more here. Uh, you can try to reduce lag, especially on PS2, by looking like to the side or something. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much for a two hour run. I don't really think it really helps either from my testings, but it possibly can, maybe just a few frames. So yeah, I just take out those two, and when I was back there, uh, destroying the predators, you don't actually need to kill them. Uh, zombie will just drive past them eventually. And by the way, Zobby's a pretty bad driver. Sometimes he'll, especially at that part, he's like, okay, what is he doing? Okay. Especially at that, right before this tunnel, he sometimes just stops and is like, oh, I need to find my path or something. So that's one of the places you can just lose time for no reason. Uh, yeah, and you also don't really need to worry about health either. Uh, easy is pretty you know, easy. Now you don't really need to be killing these mills either, but you know, to keep myself from being too bored in this level, I just do what I can to entertain myself. So yeah, you can actually, uh, shoot this guy from beyond the fence to kill him earlier. Same with this dude. Alright, so, important part coming up. Oh, uh, this is only for PS2, as far as I know. It could possibly be on GameCube and Xbox, but I couldn't replicate it on both versions. So on PS2, you do not want to shoot these guys. You want to let them run into this barrel. Even if it means you'll, uh, 
Oh my goodness. Are you, are you serious? Okay, I lied. You actually wanna... Uh, you wanna... You want... There's one of them you wanna blow up. I just forget which one. I was just saying not to blow them up because it really doesn't matter most of the time, but apparently it did that time. Oh yeah, you don't wanna bump that guy. And it doesn't matter how quickly you store these generators, because Zombie's always gonna be driving at the same speed here. He never stops. He's always going this slow, so... It doesn't matter too much. Alright, on PS2, it lags quite a bit once you hit this last area. I'm not too sure what the FPS is right now, but it's pretty low. And it doesn't matter which way you look, it's always gonna lag. Until you get, like, up to here. Alright, so you want to shoot this guy pretty much as soon as possible. Uh, you know, the more accurate you aim for him, the quicker he'll go down. You can try to use this, uh... uh whatever, I, whatever the thing I just blow, blew up was. To shorten it. And you want 